Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to our meeting. Let's uh, let's start. Yeah. Uh, we... Вот что об этом говорится в источнике Википедии: вулкан и фузивное геологическое образование, uh -huh. имеющие выводное отверстие или трещины из. Very serious. Google help <laughs> Google try to help me. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have this uh, a very interesting uh, topic about uh, how to promote yourself in the social networks and get uh, many likes and supporters. And uh, are you feeling today? That we have the special meeting, something special. <laughs> something special will happen. We are going, uh, a lot of people from the planet, like South and the North, East and West, <laughs> South Africa and uh, like Russia, and then is like uh, Bangladesh and others. Please write in chat from which country you are. <laughs> uh, Okay, so uh, let's go to the presentation. Okay. Uh, I try to teach people what I study by myself. So uh, I'm on, on the net uh, for <laughs> quite for 15 years. And uh, uh, as you see, as you search in the net, you could find me everywhere and all social networks. And uh, for all of this work, I try to do uh, the best and, and help people with uh, my possibility, what I have. So uh, I will try to help you too uh, as a writer and uh, a global activist for peace. Uh, I try to write something good that will help people and uh, something very special, give them tools for their lives and uh, for their communities working for 20 years for peace <laughs> if you search this hashtag, hashtag uh, for peace you may find me this is uh, my conferences i have different conferences with this international from different countries and uh, here i call everybody for <laughs> social revolution <laughs> social peace revolution and uh, lately i do a lot of online conferences usually on saturdays this time so please remember this time we will have uh, a conference upcoming about how to make money on the net next saturday and then will be another conference about uh, global peace building social revolution and then will be another uh, uh, conference, not conference, but will be another big party, musical party, house music or other, <laughs> for peace. <laughs> so we do everything for peace. <laughs> okay, this is from previous conference. Uh, people invite me as a coach to, uh, for their online and offline events. So because this is special time, time of the second coming of Christ and um, yeah, here we are. Uh, I want you to join me in these uh, uh, activities because I do this um, uh, do these conferences to unite together as a volunteer, and then we could uh, help each other and promote peace all over the net. If you do, do just one people or two people or uh, more people, as we are teams now in different countries, uh, we could do a lot of work for peace. So. Um, why I said this because uh, you know, uh, especially in social networks uh, nowadays, there was still now a lot of like um, uh, blah blah information, some information that uh, people don't need it, and maybe it, it will be very how to say uh, shocking or other, but it will not help uh, humankind, will not help people at all. And uh, what is uh, most important, what I ask you, and that. Uh, what you post on the net uh, is very important because 
this will remain like 400 and thousands of years ahead for you descendants. So therefore, I predict in my book, The World of 2020s, that uh, uh, in 2020s will be established peaceful world because there is no uh, there is no possibility now to hide evil. Till now, there was some possibilities that people were hiding a lot and they were doing different schemes how to uh, uh, how to steal money or other things. But uh, now everything is just you see in Nigeria now that there is a uh, this kind of revolution that people in social network uh, discuss what is this uh, shortcomings and uh, how to do it better and it will amplify more more as uh, uh, globally as we see this in the social network and less news. So uh, why we, why uh, what, what that I try to say that uh, why we need to uh post like all this hate speech all of this and the on the net it is useless it's not helping people for development we're supposed to post something for peace for unity and uh, therefore i invite you i invite everybody who uh, join to join me in this team to work together and work for peace post something good for humankind development that will help people and uh, will help each other to develop and uh, um, discover what people evil doing and uh, share it. Uh, so uh, what I ask you that is very important, <laughs> please post on the net, not just blah, blah, or something what you eat or the, <laughs> it, maybe this is also good, but uh, share something, join together and let's pass this message to billions. If you unite together, we could pass this message for global peace and uh, everybody as as we are doing this a uh, trend it could help a lot of people uh, globally uh, and also it help us to live in a more peaceful world because unfortunately if you see the news like uh, even those uh, leaders of states and different countries uh, they forget about how to communicate with themselves by um, uh, by cooperation they just uh, discuss with themselves by uh, sanctions so as we are, as we are like uh, living our countries we're supposed to say to our leaders please don't use money for or for for this kind of uh, scandals of course like usually scandals why news use, use these scandals because it um, very quickly uh, attracts uh, the um, people uh, that is shocking 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 <laughs> But uh, psychology, this is very, uh, is not good for humans. So um, uh, this is my short presentation. Please join, join me. You can find me everywhere. Join me and my team and team in new countries. And let's develop it uh, a new country, peace building project, and also international by social network. Uh, share message to billions for Peace. Uh, we'll have another presenter is uh, Dr. Tiago. He will be after me uh, now. And after this, we will have question and answer session. Uh, also, everybody could say something about. Okay, so let's uh, turn on the sound for Dr. Tiago. Okay. Yeah. How many minutes, uh, Nico? uh 15 Ooh, it's more than enough <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I i i like sometimes to make more uh you know uh, practical so okay uh hi everybody my my name is tiago i am i'm italo brazilian i live in sweden which i think is already take like five minutes to explain always my situation right <laughs> and i i Finished my master here in Sweden, just waiting my diploma. It's related to the field like peace and development. And I also have the doctor title, as I told to Nicola. It's actually our Norris Cause, so it's not really like that I have a PhD, it's just that I got because of the, the, the work I'm doing. So, anyways, I I actually focus more on the topic of like social media and this thing about impact on social work. So 
I have a, actually a page. I would say that probably like the, the, the media that I'm focusing more at the moment is the Facebook. And I'm focusing more like trying to build uh, fundraising campaigns or promote the peace related issues. At the moment, I'm mean, kind of like voluntarily. I don't know, maybe who knows in the future, yet something uh, <laughs> from the on that. But still, I'm just trying to try to do some 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 good impact. So about the the things that I'm doing, I I actually started to kind of look this and focus on social media because I I see that there is a lot of people that they try to talk about that, but I noticed that it lacks a lot uh, this relation about social media and you know peace promotion sustainability, and also there is a lot of lack about like fundraising crowdfunding. Uh, like uh, uh, connecting all these fields, you know, I, I see that there is a lot of uh, people that they are not aware, etc. So I'm trying to focus on that. Actually, I'm also trying to learn. So basically, uh, the first thing that I wanted to say uh, when it comes to social media and also uh, that's kind of like broad, it's not just about the uh, social work, but uh, the social media nowadays, we have the activism and this activism. The activism, I mean, it's just the fact that, you know, like, you try to promote something that's regarding sustainability, the SDGs and things, which of course, when it comes to, like you do some manifestation, something outside, you're doing the activist because there is no activist on the normal world. It's just on the social. And also you can do on the internet, but the activist, the most important is that uh, when it comes to do that, you need to learn uh, about the organization that they are helping about the impact that you want to do at that place. I mean, that, that's the point that people need to understand that when it comes to the social media, uh, social media, even if you are far away, which I can give the example of my case, and you're trying to help people from a totally different country. I mean, you can learn about the country history. You can learn what's the situation of that. That's actually the active day, especially in social media, is the fact that you try to learn as much as possible and engage on that. And there is this activist, which is kind of like what Nicholas told you, that's the fact that people, they think that if they share a campaign from some fundraising, that's enough. I mean, it is helpful. Yes, it is helpful. But I, but the fact that you're just sharing or just like, I mean, that can contribute, but also cannot contribute. Because uh, don't understand me wrong. It's like it is not 100% bad, but it's just the fact that you're just you don't engage, you don't learn more from that thing that you're you're supporting on the social media. So I would like just to give this first uh, definition. I think it's important nowadays. Uh, I also al always state on my meetings about the, the impact on social media nowadays after the generation of the millennials, which is mine, which is around the 90, 91 more or less. You have kind of a change. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I feel kind of old, so I hope nobody's told me. But <laughs> anyway, so change of like perspective of the social media and this kind of things and, you know, impacting digital media, et cetera, et cetera. So this applies both on digital media, uh, like digital marketing, but also on the piece, uh, since I mentioned. There's the fact that uh, nowadays you have like one, you have five topics that are very important uh, after the, the millennial generation with the introduction of computer, internet, etc. That's the, you needed to be uh, focus on the immediate uh, immediatism, the testimonial, the sociability and the cause. Sorry, it's for actually, I just, <laughs> I just check here my material, apologize. So the immediatism is that whenever you wanted to publish something that's very important on the social media, you needed to get the attention of the person at once. So whenever you wanted to publish like fundraising, something that's impactful, you need to do once. Uh, because unfortunately, I mean, even though I'm talking about the activists, unfortunately, a lot of people go through the activists. So you always needed to focus on whatever you do campaign, you try to get the attention of the person at once with one video, with one post because yeah everybody knows that like if you have 5000 friends on the facebook i mean maybe you can understand me uh, unfortunately you cannot uh, like see all the posts that you have like everything or share because i mean it's <laughs> you, we are only one person the other things that actually uh, i like to talk together is the testimonial and the sociability the testimonial is actually the fact that you see I don't know, somebody that 
uh, it's very relevant with this promotion, I don't know, Nicola. And then you're like, okay, if Nicola posts, I'm gonna trust on him. So I'm gonna also post that, also learn about that because he's a person that I trust on the field. And there is the sociability, which is the fact of your friends. I mean, you don't need somebody that's very uh, relevant in the field, but you see if your friends are doing that, you're like, okay, I'm gonna also join that cause. And lastly, but not the, the, the least important is the cause, which I think that definitely is the most important that it's, I mean, when it's something that's promoting peace, but you feel more connected, you're definitely gonna feel more engaged on that. And if you're not, I mean, maybe you're also gonna publish, but you're not gonna have the same feeling because that's also something to, to understand. We all have the SDGs, we all, like to focus on all SDGs, but let's face the truth. Each one of us have a focus on the SDG. And I think that's not a bad thing to say. I think, I mean, it's kind of difficult to try to focus on everything. And we always have that cause that takes more our attention. And I think that's important to also remember that, you know, like whenever you like, for example, uh, something related to children, you focus on that, the environment, you focus on other thing. If you want to focus on all of them as well, it's, it's also, a problem but i would say that the cause is also relevant because it's something that you know connects us okay uh about the about the the practical practical experience of social media actually i'm gonna do a bit different because usually i talk about like liquidity youtube facebook this kind of things but i'm gonna do a bit different now i'm gonna talk more about like the platforms that i look especially with fundraising because a lot of people ask and usually whenever I talk about this, I talk like my, my experience about Facebook, YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. But now I just wanted to talk about the page that I used. I, I usually use two of them. It's the giveaway and the our, our funding. And I think that's also important to check them and also focus on other pages when it comes to do like a fundraising because for example, our funding is quite good, but uh, since it's very broad and general, Everybody can apply because it's not a platform for NGOs and so civil society. It's a platform that is folks for everybody who wants to get mon money on the internet. So you can do by yourself. And the it don't demand a lot of the person, but a lot of complication when it comes to NGOs. Why? Because of course, as everybody knows NGO, you know, it's an organization. It's not you as yourself asking for, for the money. And you needed to kind of tell them that you are the representative of that NGO because uh, they are not really focused on that. They're focused on individuals. That's why I, I think it's good to mention that because it's also a, a page that I use, but I wouldn't strictly recommend that because I think that's not really the focus. And I use this page, page especially when people are not able to use the one that I use the most. And I think a lot of people use, I, I know some people use, for example, the GoFundMe, which is one that I'm learning a lot, but the one that I use the most and I feel that more reliable is the giveaway. But there is one thing about the giveaway, which can be a challenge for some people. The giveaway page, when, when people apply to the page to start their project, etc., you must be registered on your country. You must have a legal legitimate organization. And I know it's kind of like, it goes to the obvious obvi obvious idea, sorry, <laughs> obvious idea. But unfortunately not everybody is able to register their organization at the moment. And since I'm helping a lot of organizations, I, I know a lot of them that they're very legit, but they have problems about uh, the way they needed to follow through the government. And there was a lot of implications because of the coronavirus at the moment. So they are not able to, to register and they're not able to go to give away. And that's why I sometimes use their funding. But in my opinion, the giveaway is the best because for example, whenever you use the page, you can also ask for like uh, volunteers. You can ask for like online and also in real volunteers on the place. You can, for example, even do marketing. Like I, there is an organization that I'm helping that they sell t-shirts, for example, and they put on the page. So I feel that giveaway is good because it's kind of like a leakeding. It's kind of professional page, but only for NGOs. And you can apply as a volunteer, which is my case, because to be able to register and give away, you must be somebody registered on the organization to do that. And that's that's quite an important thing to, to say. The other thing that's important to mention uh, when it comes to taking out from these pages that are, that are uh, focusing on the fundraising 
when it comes to the social media, like Facebook and the kind of things, and also the, the things that I mentioned that we need to focus more on this immediatist that we have nowadays, we always needed to look for people that are able to post our idea because I think the most important nowadays to, to say, and that's, I mean, the thing that I always tell people, we are in difficult time to people invest money in, you know, in donations. I mean, we are in Corona time moment and unfortunately not everybody's able to do that. I think the most important that I noticed from some organizations is that we build a very solid uh, group uh, focusing on our friends from Facebook, from social media, uh, for example, or even family or people that are able to post that. Because I know some people that they're getting money, but they're getting money because of this thing about like people who are able to share because they like the idea. And I think the most important nowadays, which I think that's the, 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 the main thing to keep in mind is that whenever you do a campaign, try to be exhaustive, try to put everything that you want from that campaign, try to explain everything, the situation, what exactly you need with that money. Uh, so that it became something solid and try to make a uh, give a different approach because the, the problem that I see is that like even even it happened right to me some people say say okay it's nice I'm helping this these people there but actually what I'm what I'm helping who I'm helping and it's something that I try to also tell people that whenever you you want to do fundraising you really need to go very specific who you want to help what's the like situation of population maybe give some numbers even if sometimes it's kind of like too much information because i think that as, as much as you can give information it, it, it gives like that legitimate perspective towards donors etc and i feel that it's quite competitive like at the moment i'm trying to get in contact with some organizations that uh, some agencies for development but yeah, it's good, Decola. But there is the thing that they are very bureaucratic. And that's the thing that I'm trying to tell people. It's not me. I like people. It's a bit difficult because a lot of people reach. But when it comes to that, I need to I need to them. And we need to be bureaucratic when it comes to asking for money. I mean, okay, not everybody, like individuals and crowdfund is not a problem because if somebody wants to invest, they're gonna invest you. But when it comes to like big organizations or government institutions, they want to have something that's reliable for them. And yeah, I think I think I, I covered. I'm sorry that uh, <laughs> I lost some parts because actually I just I just came with this idea to talk now. I didn't really prepare the material. I just had like some previous material, and they want to do a bit different. For example, the fundraising part, which I never really mentioned in, uh, previously. But anyways, yes, I think that's it. I hope I didn't uh, went more than 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if I did or not. But yeah, anyways, like if somebody wants, I mean, uh, you can contact me and maybe you can put like the phone. I think usually people like to contact through the phone or maybe mail and yeah, we can we can get some contact. And thank you, Nikolai. And I I hope I help somebody to give some, some ideas or some thoughts or things because I think yeah, it's good. Thank you. How many minutes? <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> Thank you. As you said, it's supposed to be very specific. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I went a bit away. You said it's supposed to be a very specific one. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, now it's question and answer uh, session where you could say, uh, please uh, ask a question me or Tiago. Uh, just uh, turn on your microphone and say, and then turn off. Everybody could turn on microphone now because I I allow the, everyone to turn on microphone. Okay, everybody who, who have the questions about like specific question about social network, how to break through there. And we have a lot of followers. <laughs> Seems like we, uh, me and Tiago already explained everything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions about social network? Uh, 
Okay. Hello. You can write as well. I, I don't know. Yes. Sometimes people have problems with the connection. So maybe they can write as well. If they yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat like... is open always, 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours. No. Come on. No. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, may I ask uh, others like uh, well, new people like Amadeus? Could you say a few words about what country you are? Uh, Amadeus, can you hear me? You are online. Could you say a few words from which country? You are? Something about Okay, hello. Hello. Can you Hello. Hello. I am I am Amadeus from Tanzania. I am Amadeus from Tanzania. Okay. So I'm very I'm very happy to to meet you with, with you all. So we I'm very happy to meet you all and I'm in hand with all of you in the corporate in peace in peace operation. So I am looking forward on you to learn more things from you, especially you see today is the concern about how to get more like in the social network. So I'm looking to learn many things from you, from you all guys because I think there is there is the people who have much knowledge, who, who have experience. So I'm looking forward to learn from you all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You you answer you answer Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyhow, the, the, as Tiago said, it's very important that uh, what you share and uh, <laughs> as I, I said, and it's supposed to be like peaceful and uh, very uh, how to say good for people. And uh, uh, this is supposed to be uh, as if you provide good information, you will always have followers. If you have good cause. So uh, just do it. Yeah, I, I have one note as well, Nicola, very quickly. The most important thing that I tell people is that when, that's the thing I always try to bring like this realistic. I mean, it's not a problem that you, you like something that you think like, oh, people think differently, but they think that when it comes to like peace promotion, et cetera, we always needed to really hold ourselves when we have a different opinion towards other people. Yeah. Because I think that's not a problem when you think differently than other people, but it's the way that you put on the internet. Like I can see by myself, like when very long time ago, I used to be very like political active and have my <laughs> etc. No, it's true. Like I, I, you know, I think I always the, the 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 truth needs to be said. And I feel that sometimes, I mean, I don't engage. I didn't used to engage nobody, and I just give problem because you cannot convince people if you go aggressive on them. You need to kind of make the dialogue. And I think the most important thing that I learned, especially now is that I try to avoid like situations that are very complex, you know, and I try to make people to talk in a comfort zone, try to bring dialogue to them and, you know, be able to talk with them. And that's actually good. Like I have contact with a lot of people that they have totally different perspective, ideas, religion, whatever than me now. And I think that's, that's, you know, that's a good way to do. It is difficult, I'm not gonna deny, but it is good that you try to maintain like, you know, a way that you can be coherent with other people, especially when it comes to peace promotion. Yes, very good. <laughs> Simply said what I said that uh, past information, good information, not just affect other people because like okay. we have different ideas, but uh, uh, when, how to say, <laughs> when we hurt yeah. somebody, he could remember world life, so. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Always carry with what you post. Yeah, therefore, never hurt anybody. <laughs> yeah. That, because like uh, uh, universal principles, everybody like uh, everybody like when they respect you, everybody and you respect others, uh, so the others will respect you. So, okay. other questions? Okay, we, maybe some others could say something about peace, uh, peace on the net. We, um, I have on, well, a lot of videos about uh, this uh, um, internet promotions and uh, others. Uh, uh, and uh, you could use this 
for you just uh, i will uh, i say uh, i share there uh, my channel video channel and there you could find a lot of tools for social networks too for life because i'm life coaching and uh, uh, my channel on, on youtube and also everywhere on instagram twitter there is a lot of vital information and also you could contact me anytime there is whatsapp uh, from any country <laughs> you can invite them to the whatsapp group uh nicola maybe yeah, that yeah. would be a better thing right because then we can share all the information etc yeah yeah yeah. i will try to do it uh, okay uh, yeah just contact me on whatsapp and i will uh, I, I will add to the group so okay let's uh, let's uh, to uh, end this uh, nice session short and sweet <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, greetings everybody, stay self, safe in this uh, pandemic time, make morning exercise, <laughs> stay <laughs> healthy, and uh, let's uh, spread this uh, movement for peace, just use this hashtag for peace, <laughs> and message to billions, this spread it, ask your friends also to do the same, as uh, uh, why we supposed to be as uh, usual media, they uh, spread on the net a lot of hatred why you need this <laughs> we need to spread peace and then peaceful world will be step by step okay bye bye everybody all the best uh, stay connected <laughs> bye thank you bye. see you next bye 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 bye, 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 bye. thank you